In the past, a lot of the times in the justice system, it was very black and white. Professor Fahana Nusrat, who teaches social media marketing at USD, says a new generation is wanting to give the Menendez brothers a resentencing. Today's generation try to think a lot about how trauma could be part of it and also ethical punishment where we can not just look at the crime, but also the context. The Menendez brothers have gotten popular again, and it wasn't just because of the new piece of evidence in their case. There's no denying the hit Netflix adaptation Monsters and the millions of posts on TikTok has played a huge role in renewing the public's interest. When you create these like mini shows, like what Netflix has done, why does that work? People start looking at them as humans. The brothers have always centered their defense around allegations that their parents abused them. So how is it going to potentially have a different outcome in 2024 compared back to 1996? Well, we are becoming more and more conscious of mental health. I don't think there was a platform like social media back then in the 90s to actually collaborate. Newsra and I also talked about how the Menendez brothers' celebrity status really helped build their following and their openness about their alleged abuse may be another reason why they've gained an extra following today. Regular people also feel a lot more comfortable when we know that there are other people out there with similar abuses. Is social media really becoming a huge agent for change more than people would give it credit for? Yes, it could also set a legal precedent for the future cases. Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.